wants to be king! Welcome back to the War Room. In previous videos, I've been critical about Coach Greg Adams for some of the things that he said. But I like to be fair, and I want to give credit where credit is due. I recently tuned in to one of his streams where he was talking about predictions that he made back in, I think, 2019. And I remember the video that he was speaking about because that's when I first entered into the space and began making content myself. And Coach Greg Adams was one of the guys that I watched and listened to. And I, I specifically remember that that prediction video. And what he was talking about in that video was what it was gonna take for women to come back to the table and be what women were meant to be, what they're supposed to be. And uh, I think he listed off five, six things. And out of those things, uh, at least four of them have happened. And the one that that he spoke of has yet to happen. I think it's probably happening now. And I would predict that it will most definitely happen when what's coming down the pipe finally hits us in its totality. This channel has always been about helping men. It's always been about self-improvement. It's been about trying to help men, young men and old men, find their purpose, find their way, find meaning in their lives. And my goal in that has been somewhat selfish because I feel like in my lifetime, I've squandered a lot of the opportunities that I had to do what God blessed me with the abilities to do. And also, I've, I've spent a lot of time in my life doing the wrong thing. And so what I've tried to do here is, is make amends for some of the destruction that I've caused and in becoming a better man myself, help those who I have influence with do the same. This message is a little bit different. This message is, this message is for men and women, young and old. We are in a desperate, we're in a really desperate place. And when you understand what's unfolding in our country and around the world, you'll, you, you see that there is an expedited push to fundamentally change everything about the way every one of us on this planet lives or ceases to do so. People will always point to conspiracies and, and say that you're crazy. All these things when you point out the obvious, but things have become so evident that to, to label a person to be conspiratorial would really kind of make one an idiot. When you look at what's happening across the world with the Russians, the Chinese, all the different factions, all the different problems that we have across the planet, there, there, is, there is a movement to bring everybody to their knees. When you connect the dots of all of these different things, the destruction of the fabric of our country, from the families to women to men, children, at every point, we we have destroyed what we once were, what we're supposed to be. We've we've killed God, we've killed family, we've ruined women, we've destroyed men, and now we're allowing them to to go after our children with the most with the most insidious, disgusting abomination. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I watched a Matt Welsh video. And I, it, it was funny because there was a Decepticon on there that was pretending to be a man, and and with this with this convenient with this convenient word bullshit that we're playing, we've allowed the most weak people in our population, the most pathetic, sad excuses for potential in our culture, to become empowered and protected. And watching Matt Walsh dismantle this Decepticon was, was funny to me 
but then last week I saw where a story where this boy went into a bathroom and tampered with the 10 year old little girl and to get out of being punished now he claims to be a female and in the public and the narrative that's on the media the judges all of these people are playing along calling this boy her we have we have allowed we have allowed this abomination we have allowed we have allowed these people that should be labeled as terrorists we have allowed all of the weakest most pathetic people to start taking taking charge of our lives, giving away our liberties, our freedoms, sacrificing everything that we're supposed to be because of their feelings, trying to change the way that we speak to and about one another. We have gone from a society where we looked at men who were strong and capable and have demonized them, lifted up women in the place of men and taken something that used to be a mental disorder, an illness, and made it a normality, so much so that they're pushing it on our kids. Here in Texas, our governor did the right thing, and he passed legislation to make tampering with these children's biology child abuse, because that's exactly what it is. While we sit back and chase the carrots of racism, sexism, all the ists and isms, all of the bullshit, all of the bread and circuses, these people that so-called elected leaders are destroying our country, they're destroying our world. What's coming down the pipe is a world where they can do to you what they did to those truckers in Canada. The speed and efficiency with which they took the money, stole the money from the GoFundMe account, from people who appreciate and endorse freedom. That's theft at the highest degree. And the government was complicit in that. You need to pay attention to what's going on on our borders when our so-called elected officials allow millions of people to stream over the border. Unchecked. Unvetted. The same officials that exfilled from Afghanistan and equipped an army that we spent 20 years fighting against and gave them the capabilities that made America so dominant on the battlefield. A squad that was fighting with Soviet era AK-47s. We're supposed to believe that over there defending the democracy in, in the Ukraine, supporting the government, giving the people guns, while here they want to take Americans' guns, law-abiding citizens. It's time for America, for Americans, to wake the fuck up. White men, you need to stand up and, and put a, a, a quash to this racist narrative to where you, all the problems for people of color are your fault. That's a fucking lie. Black people need to stop telling that fucking lie. We need to stop raising up these Decepticons and allowing this whole thing to infect our children. We need to go back to being Americans and stop letting these fucking criminals, these demons, separate us. Because if we don't stop this now, if we don't do something about this now, all of us are going to suffer on a scale that is unimaginable. This isn't fear mongering, this is truth. This is history repeating itself with technology that makes it possible. You can continue, you can continue to entertain yourself with all of the luxuries and pleasures that we have taken for granted. Or you can put down the cell phone, put down the devices, put your attention to what's really happening in this fucking world and do something about it. We have the opportunity right now to go down as the greatest generation who ever lived on the planet across the board because this is a global issue. This isn't just about America. This is global. But if we go, everybody goes. Everybody's gone. So who do you want to be?
What do you want history to say about you? Either we're going to get out of this or all of us will have a boot on our neck that we cannot remove. It's your choice. The hour is late. There's no time to wait anymore. Either we wake up and we take our country back to where it's supposed to be, or we allow these people to walk us straight into hell. Out.